Hello guys, so today I just want to do a quick video on these Chinese made Harris style bipods. Okay, so I bought one yesterday, uh, but I've had one for the last five years as well. So that's why I bought another one because I think they're pretty damn good for the price that you pay. And I also got it with um, a pick rail adapter, which I'll show you now because it's a QD stunt bipod. However, you can buy them with the um, rail adapters, Picatinny rail adapters, so you can use it on a pick, pick rail. So this came with the bipod. Works all right. Tightens up with a Allen screw. And it's on there nice and solid. What can you say? It's an adapter. It's made of aluminium. It's solid. Right. This is another one that I brought. This is this is what I got with the bipod, but I'm just showing you. Um, I got this quick relief one from Amazon about a year ago. Um, I think that was about six quid. Um, I do actually prefer this to the one that came with the bipod, just for the simple fact being because it's got the quick release system on it. It's a lot easier to take it on and off. So the actual bipod comes in your standard Amazon box, and then inside that box is a box. All right. Um, and it has on there Jasky rifle bipod. It's a six to nine inch bipod. Um, an adapter included for hunting. Made in China. Okay, so it comes in like a cardboard box. And inside that cardboard box, you get the bipod in a plastic bag, in a sealable plastic bag, which is quite nice. So for you guys that go hunting, you can reuse this to waterproof stuff. These are the type of bags we use in the army to waterproof our kit, you know, so they're actually pretty decent. All right, um, and then you get your actual uh, mount, Picadini rail mount inside this plastic bag as well. Okay. So the bipod with the pick rail adapter cost me uh, fifteen ninety nine on sale for twenty pound. But usually you can buy these bipods for about £15 um, without the adapter uh, that are not on sale. So they, they usually cost around about 15 quid, which, to be fair, is well worth the money. So what do you get for your 15 quid? Well, you get an aluminium bipod with spring-loaded feet. There we go. Boom. Boom. Spring-loaded. It's a six position, um, it has six positions on it that you can adjust for the height. So, you, I'll just show you that now. So, you've got obviously one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Yeah, all right. And like I said, the feet are spring loaded. Yeah, so you've got to do is press these little buttons here. Boom, boom, okay. And the lock up is pretty solid on these. Um, once you've locked them in, they ain't gonna move. Okay, the lock ups are pretty solid on them. All right, uh, I imagine there's a little metal clip or something in there that clips onto these little notches on the actual bipod there that holds it in place. Okay. The legs are spring loaded. And they're not too stiff, but they're not too loose either. They're just nice. Um, you don't have to be He-Man to release the legs, but then they're not just gonna collapse on you either. So they're, they're quite, they're made quite nice. All right, they're made pretty decently. All right, and then like I said earlier, it's a QD mount stud. Attach system. So, I'm trying to find the best way to show you. So, it attaches to the QD mounts, all right? Um, and in transit as well, which I forgot to mention, that this actually has um, a little rubber thing that goes onto the little mounts. A little rubber thing here that goes onto the mounts there to, just to protect them, all right? You tighten it up and loosen it up, 
by a screw system. Yeah, just unscrew, screw up. It's got a little metal ring here. Uh, I'm not sure the purpose of this ring. I suppose it's for a sling attachment, but it looks quite flimsy to me. I wouldn't use that for a sling attachment, but that's the only reason I can think why that's actually there. Uh, oh, actually, no, I just found out the reason why it's there. It's to hold the actual mounting system in there. Okay, but that's not too bad, because like I said, I've had one of these for five years. This one, for five years, and uh, it's exactly the same uh, bipod, exactly the same type of mounting system, when you see that metal ring there, and that's never failed on me, it's always stayed, so that's after five years use, so I won't worry about that, it seems to be fine. Um, yeah, so just going on to this one now, so this one's five years old, used it all over the place, wherever, it's, it's a really good bipod. Um, and the legs still work spring loaded after five years. Okay. It still has a nice positive leg release. Well, careful. Nice positive leg release. That's the same as the other. It's not too stiff, it's not too loose. However, it has loosened up a slight bit over time, but nothing drastically. It just makes it actually a little bit better to be honest. Um yeah, so that's the old one, and that's after five years use. The only thing that I did find um, was that the little rubber bits that you get on the new one here, yeah, did come off. All right, okay. But you can rectify that by just getting a little bit of tape and putting a bit of tape down there and down there, okay? And that will stop you from scratching your, your stock up if you've got a wooden stock, all right? Okay. So this bipod has lasted the test of time. I've never had to tighten anything up on it. Nothing's ever come loose on it. It's just worked. It's been old reliable um, bipod. Okay, for 15 quid, that's not bad after five years use and it's still going and I'm pretty sure I'll get another five years use out of this. Uh, there's no rust on it, no nothing. Some of the paints come off it a little bit in certain areas, but what do you expect is metal and metal contact like there but for 15 quid who's complaining do you know what i mean it's 15 pound it's not a lot of money um when you compare it to say the actual real harris bipods that are like 50 or 60 quid which to be honest with you for how good quality these bipods are for 15 pounds i wouldn't buy a, a 60 pound harris bipod all right um, i can't see how they'd be actually any different um, and improve the shooting experience um these don't. These are not tiltable though. They don't have a tilt feature on them. They're just a solid, normal bipod. No frills, nothing fancy, but they work, and that's what you want. All right. So back in a minute, I'm just going to attach them to the bipods. The old one, uh, bipods. I'm just going to attach them to the rifles, the new one and the old one, and we're just going to see what they're like on the rifles. Okay. So just bear with me. I'll be back in a minute. So the way you attach it then is by just lining up those little studs. Um, onto the QD mount and then by twisting this and then you just nip it up with the Allen key just to tighten it up. Um, I find with the one that I've had for five years I don't need to actually use an Allen key on it anymore it just tightens up with hand tension but this one seems to be a little bit more resistant to tightening without the Allen key shall we say. All right. I just wanted to Mention that, as you can see, it's on there nice and solid. That little bit of wobble that is actually on this rifle, it's not due to the bipod, it's actually due to the mount that's on the Chris Defiance um, and the way they make it, it just screws in. Um, so that's more, that's the actual picketing around the Chris, not the actual bipod. All right. But yeah, that bipod's on nice and solid, okay. It's not going anywhere. All right, so that's the one on the Chris. That's the new one. And I'm gonna put my old one on my CZ452 
the way it's actually supposed to go on with the QD mount. This this bit can be a little bit tricky, um, unfortunately. So it can sometimes take a few times to get it on. But I don't think that's the actual bipod. I think that's more to do with the uh, actual design of it, of having to line it up. Oh, now we on first time this time. Have a look. No. Right, so basically, yeah, these little studs go into that hole on the QD mount. So I'm just going to stop the video for a minute and I'm going to do it off camera. <laughs> right. right, guys, so I'm going to test out the new one first and then we're going to test out the old one with the rigidity of the bipod. Okay, so like I said, the legs are spring loaded, so boom. Boom, out, they're nice clipped in. Let's just push down on that. That ain't going anywhere. All right, okay. So, pull back on the rifle and see if the legs collapse. Nope, they're not collapsing, they're staying. However, if you do push forward, they will start to go. All right, but I'm having to put a bit of force into this. Bear in mind, my body weight's going against this. So, it's not just like, it's not got much force, I'm actually pushing my body against it, okay? Um, if you do try and put some weight on it, the legs are obviously going to go. Uh, but you can rectify that by either churning the bipod round, yeah? Um, or shoot how you're supposed to shoot. Um, that might be a controversial statement. But look, I've always been taught by the military, because that's what I learned to shoot, is that you pull the rifle into the shoulder, okay? Um, so that's why I have my bipod set up in that configuration because when I shoot I pull the rifle in um, okay so that's why I want the legs not to collapse if I'm putting the rifle in right um, I have heard some people say about leaning into the rifle that's not how I've been taught how to shoot and I believe that's the wrong way um, to shoot so for me that's not really I'm not really too bothered about that because I wouldn't shoot like that anyway um, I'm always pulling the rifle back into the shoulder Okay, as you can see there, apart from that, the rifle's good quality, uh, not the rifle, sorry, the bipod's good quality, um, it's not going to go anywhere, it's on there nice and solid, okay, um, and for 15 quid, um, for this bipod without the attachment, that's pretty good, alright, alright, so that's the new one, now let's test out the one that I've had for five years, it's on the CZ, which, because it's actually on the QD mount, it's even more solid than on the rifle. This is not going anywhere. As you can see, that, that is on there nice and solid. All right. Okay. So, this bipod's five years old. It's been used all the manner of times. A lot of times, a lot of shooting has been used with this. Right. So, the legs still spring load. They still spring out. Okay. That one's a little bit in the e so let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. So, that's they still spring out which is good. They're not, still nice and solid, i.e. the legs are not going to collapse on you by pushing pressure down. As you can see, I am actually putting pressure down on this. This is the five year old one. Look, I'm that confident in it. I'm putting my body weight on that and that's still not going, it's still holding, the legs are still holding. All right. Okay, so the same as what I've done before. Pull the rifle back, yeah. Those legs are not going. Yeah, they're on nice and solid. They ain't going anywhere. I mean, I'm really gonna try and, I'm gonna give this one a little bit more hassle than the new one because this is older. All right. You can see those legs ain't going anywhere. All right. Okay, those legs are on there solid. Same with the other one though. If you push forward on it, yeah, the legs might go. All right. but. They're spring, as you can see, they're spring-loaded, so the rifle, the legs are just going back to normal setting anyway, even when you do that. So it's not like you're going to go, oh, let's bring it that way. So if you do that by mistake, yeah, the legs are still spring-loading. Let's try and get that in position so you can see. So look, even if you come down that far, 
the legs are spring loading back up, right? So you're not going to collapse the rifle by mistake, put it that way. All right, you're going to have to really push into it to do that. All right. So there you go. That's one of these. Well, that's two of these cheap Chinese Harris style bipods. Um, I think they're well worth the money. Um, I don't know why you'd actually pay 60 quid for a Harris bipod when you can buy one of these for 15 quid. Um, just one thing as, as well, actually, because uh, I did mention this doesn't have a tilt function. But, I mean, there are ways you can get around that, i.e. if you're on an unlevel surface and you need to shoot, all right, all you've got to do is just push one of the clips down. Like I said, it's got a six position function, so you can just do it like that. Um, obviously, so then if you say you've got like a rock or something there or whatever, you can rest it on there like that, yeah? So... You can do it with the other side as well. So there is there is movement in it, right? You can move the uh, bipod to certain positions to help you with your shooting. Okay, it just doesn't have a tilt function on it, which, to be fair, out of, what, 17 years shooting, military and civilian-wise, I've never needed a tilt function on a bipod. Maybe why I'm not that bothered about them. Um, I've literally never needed one, even when I've used... Um, weapon system should we say in the military um i've never needed a, uh, a tilt function um same with the with the old lsw they could tilt a little bit um on the bipod never used that function never used the tilt um i've always just used the bipod as it as they are like this um, and i've always found them to work fine like that so that's personal preference that's my preference but uh yeah so for 15 quid, I don't think these bipods are bad at all. And bearing in mind, this one is five years old, right? No, actually it's older than that. I had this, I got this bipod when I first brought my TH78D, which, oh. So I've had my firearms license now for five years. So I had TH70D before that. So, oh, well, yeah, this bipod must be getting on seven years old now. Sorry, not five years, seven years. Um, and this bipod is still working fine. So, what can you say? The proof's in the pudding. Seven year old bipod, 15 quid, still works. There's not really a lot that can go wrong with them, is there? It's a bipod, it's a bit of aluminium. Um, so, what's to go wrong with them? So, apart from that, I really do recommend these bipods. Um, they're really good. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, and you have a good day.